Hello everyone, let us discuss this interesting geometry problem. There is a square given to us whose side is 4 cm and there is a circle inside the square which is touching two sides of its square. The radius of that circle is 1 cm and this circle is also touching a triangle that is inside the square. The triangle is such that one of the sides of the triangle is nothing but as the side of the square. So we have to find the area of this triangle. So this is a very interesting problem. We will use the properties of circles to solve this question. So let's see what are the properties I can think I can apply. So first thing what I see is this is a square. So this side is 4 cm. This side will also be 4 cm. And since this is a square all the angles will be 90 degree. This is the geometrical application I can apply here. Next thing I see this circle. This circle is touching three sides. This is one of the side, this is the second side and this is the third side. So they all three are the tangents to the circle. And we know that if a tangent to the circle is given, always draw from the center of circle perpendicular to the tangent. And that will be equal to the radius of the circle. So this length is nothing but one. We can also draw a perpendicular on this line. This length will also be one. And we can also draw perpendicular on this tangent. This length will also be 1. So we have to use this condition. That is why the tangents are given to us. Now let's take a look at here. You can see that if I consider this point, this point, this point and this point. This will form a four sided figure in which these two angles are 90 degree. And this is 90 degree. So this angle will also be 90 degree. And we know in a four sided figure in a quadrilateral sum of all angle is 360. So this angle must be also 90 degree. So now we can say that this is a rectangle whose adjacent sides are equal. So this must be a square. So this must be a square. So this length is one. This length will also be one. And this length will also be one. This is what we can say from this figure. So now if you look at this figure, this is a bigger square 4 by 4. This is a smaller square 1 by 1. So we can say that if I will join this vertex with this vertex, it will pass through the opposite point of the diagonal of the bigger square. That will be the case. Why that will be the case? Just take a look at the angle. This is 1, this is 1. This angle will be 45 degree because tan theta condition if you will apply, the theta will be 40 degree perpendicular upon base. The same condition if you will apply in the bigger triangle, this is 4 and this side is also 4, so angle is 45. So this is a same line only because that same line can only subtend the angle 45 degree here. So this is what we can see. So now we can find the length of this diagonal also. So if you can find the length of its diagonal, what is the diagonal length? That is we know if the side of square is A, then the diagonal length is A root 2. That we can easily find by what? Using Pythagoras theorem. So this diagonal length is 4 root 2. Now I will consider two triangles. One is this triangle. I can find this length, this diagonal length. This part length will be A root 2. A here is 1. So this length is root 2. So the remaining length from here till here, that will be what? 4 root 2 minus this length root 2. So that will be in this triangle, this length will be 3 root 2. So, since I have to use this 90 degree triangle, that is why I try to find this side so that I can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find this side of the triangle. So, now by applying Pythagoras theorem, you can see that this is nothing but 3 root 2 whole square hypotenuse square minus 1 square. So, if you try to find this length, this will be what? Under root of 3 root 2 whole square that is hypotenuse square minus base square or perpendicular square. So this will become 18 whole square and, and this will become 1. So this length from this point to this that will be equal to root 70. So this is how you, we have used these two triangles. So we have applied the condition of tangency here. We have applied the tendency, tendency of condition of tangency here. Now we will apply the condition of tangency here. We can see that this and this these are the tangents drawn from this single external point. So I will assume this length to be x. This length will be also x because we know that from an external point if two tangents are drawn to a circle, their length must be equal. Now I can say that I can apply Pythagoras theorem in this big triangle. How I can apply? 
because I know the full length is 4 cm. This is 1 plus x. So, the remaining length will be 4 minus 1 plus x that is 3 plus x. Now, in this triangle, there is only one variable x which we can easily find by applying Pythagoras theorem. So, now we will just apply Pythagoras theorem that will be 4 square plus 3 minus x whole square that is base square plus perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse ka square. Hypotenuse is root 17 plus x whole square. So, here we will apply the formula 16. Here it is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, this will become 9 plus x square minus, 2, 6, minus 6x. Here it will become root 17 square plus x square plus 2 root 17x. This is just the formula we have applied here. Now we can see that x square values will get cancelled out. So now you will get the expression like this. 17 will come to the left side. Here it will become 25 minus 17 that is 8. Here it is 2 root 17 plus 6 because x will come common from here that you can see. These both are coefficients of x. From here we can take 2 common and we can divide here also. So if you will divide this by 2, you will get 4 here, here you will get 3. So you will get the value of x is 4 upon under root 17 plus 3. Now I will just rationalize the denominator so there is no square root term in the denominator. So I will divide and multiply by its conjugate root 17 minus 3. So the in the numerator it will become 4 multiplied by root 17 minus 3. Denominator here we will apply the identity. This is a, this is b, a plus b, a minus b. So, denominator it will become a square minus b square. So, that is the condition you will apply. This is nothing but 17 minus 9 that is equal to 8. So, here if you will see 4 will cancel out 8, it will be 2. So, x value is root 17 minus 3 by 2. So, now if you know the value of x, you know the value of base, you also know the height, you can easily find the area of this triangle. So, that is the last step. So, x is this one, base is what? 3 minus x. So, we will subtract x from 3. So, 3 minus root 17 minus 3 by 2. Just take the LCM, here it will become 6 minus root 17 and it will become plus 3. Remember, this negative sign will get multiplied with minus 3. So, it will become plus 3. So, here it will become 6 plus 3 that is 9 minus root 17 by 2. So, the area of triangle is nothing but half base multiplied by height. That is half 9 minus root 17 by 2 multiplied by height that is 4. So, 2, 2 and 4 they will get cancelled out. You will be remaining with 9 minus root 17. So, that is the area of this particular triangle. So, such a beautiful question of geometry involving properties of tangent to a circle. Two tangents all will draw perpendicular to the tangent that is the radius. Then this here it is an important step length of tangent from x to point r equal we have equated that and we just applied Pythagoras theorem.